Hello, Collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. It's Miss Kelly coming to you with your peek at the week. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Six of Cups, Two of Swords, Six of... I mean, Ace of Wands. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Collective say, do not disturb my peace. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Okay, you say do not come over here trying to fuck with my zen. Okay, I feel you, collective. Collective say, let's just go ahead and call it a, a spade. A spade. Oh, you don't care about the past, baby. You said even with the good times, let them roll. Okay, collective. That's how we feeling. <laughs> collective say, um, I give zero. When it comes to the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. I like it, Collective. You took yourself out of the cold. You took yourself out of the cold. Two of Swords. What else can the Collective expect for? Ooh, okay. What is going on? Expect for this week. That's too many. Two of Swords. Why are the Two of Swords here? The Devil in the Reverse. I like it. I like it. I like it. Judgment. You're blocking out negativity this week. You're not putting up with no shit, okay? Dealing with the facts. You've made a judgment call possibly on a King of Swords. Or this could just be you and the King of Swords energy. Just like I'm cutting out the bullshit, okay? Some of you, there could be, you know, you could be giving up certain vices, all right? I am seeing that for this week as well. But with this Ace of Wands, let's see, this creativity or is this someone trying to come back and give you that thing? True. Trying to give you that thing. Okay, hold on. All right, somebody trying to weigh the pros and cons. Ooh, not the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Peeking out. Mm. Someone wants a passionate new beginning, but I feel like if they owed you some sort of an apology, you don't want it. Okay. We have the Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles. There could be an Emperor Aries that you walked away from. This person could be single here. Okay. Uh, they feeling, they're feeling left out in the cold here. All right, what is this here? Oh, the five of pentacles. Okay, who co who wand you done left out in the code, uh, collector? Okay, the high priestess. So somebody feels like you're being silent, okay? They want to make you some sort of offer or they want to come towards you and apologize to you. Some of you, there's a boss figure that may be having a crush on you or may be interested in you, but I'm seeing that this could be something that's kind of passionate. I also see creatively that there could be some sort of idea, thank you, spark or idea that you may get this week that could be very lucrative for you that'll help you be financially stable, okay? Um, some of you could be a high priestess. Take it how it resonates for you. All right, we have the Page of Swords. All right, so somebody is silently watching you. This is definitely the Eight of Cups came out again. Um, someone that uh, you walked away from, okay? And you feel as though wish fulfillment was on the other side, okay? Hmm. What about, give me some more on this Devil in the Reverse. The Two of Swords and the Devil in the Reverse, please. I don't know. Y'all reading is kind of cut and dry, honey. Okay, you done had an epiphany, an aha moment. I saw the Empress and the Queen of Cups is peeking out here. Okay, so some of you could be a water sign, could be a Pisces. All right, somebody here has had an aha moment, okay? Um, this, oh, okay. Somebody could have tried to sacrifice somebody here. Okay, we have the Lovers. Ace of Swords. So there's some sort of revelation that you came to about a lover. 
Um, somebody here could be wanting to make you some sort of an offer or you have a Pisces. Somebody has come to some sort of conclusion. Um, I also see uh, Capricorn here as well. Um, that wanted to, that wants to make you some sort of offer here, okay? The Hierophant, it went from the Ace of Cups to the Hierophant to the Two of Cups. And then we have the Magician right behind it. Somebody is manifesting you hard as hell this week. I don't know if it's just communication. Somebody is manifesting. Somebody feels like you're a soulmate. You're their soulmate. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to want to tell you some sort of truth, okay? They're in their head or they feel as though whatever it is they have to tell you may put you in yours, all right, you take it how it resonates for you. Okay, y'all have a busy week this week collecting. Somebody miss you. They miss your good times. Thank you, the world. There is definitely some, could be some sort of a, uh, Cultural difference here for some of you. Okay. Um, we also have here uh, the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Knight of Swords. All right. So you may get some sort of information here uh, about some sort of finances here. Give me one on the world. Okay. Yes. New cycle here. New cycle. There's new love coming in for you all. And it's because of the way that you're loving on yourself. Especially if you felt as though you've been stuck in some sort of cycle. There's a new cycle coming in for you. Okay. And I feel like something is going to take you back. Uh, take you aback. Um, I do feel like there could be possibly an Aquarius that wants to come back towards you. Even to... Um, I see Virgo, I see Gemini, I also see Taurus, okay? Uh, there's someone that wants to come back towards you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Uh, so that's where this mofo. But I feel like anything, like people coming at you this way, you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're keeping it pushing. Yeah, and that's the justice, okay? People who don't who act like you're not you're not worth the effort, you're not worth the apology, or it took them forever and a day to give you an apology, but then they want to come back and act like everything is everything. Uh no. I'm hearing Lauren Hills, everything is everything. Four wands in the reverse. Yeah. This is someone. This was a false twin, possibly. This could even be someone. This person. Ooh, yes. Confirmation. This person, they are feeling really, really defeated because look at this. They're losing sleep. You're out here looking good, honey. You're working on yourself. You're doing, you're doing just fine. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige is just fine. Just fine. Okay. Just fine. What I'm telling you is the truth. Ace of Swords, you're doing just fine without these past people. And these people want you to bring them in some sort of cycle, but there is newness coming in for you. Judgment. Ace of Swords. Yeah. This star energy, I'm telling you, strong Aquarian energy out here. That you set some sort of boundary here with. Okay. Um, somebody thought they were going to have you waiting and burdened. <laughs> Tell them. Picture that collective. Waiting and burdened for what? So somebody here is burdened as hell because you set a boundary. Yeah. Look, Seven of Swords. Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles in a reverse. Yes. There's some sort of bad investment happening. The tower. Something. Something blew up in someone's face here. Was about to. What's the seven of pentacles reverse? Seven of pentacles reverse. Somebody trying to snake you was a bad investment. 
Okay, so somebody here, you may end up telling someone that they're not. Ooh. Collective. I feel like you're going to be in this energy of. Should I say it or should I not say it? Okay, you want that like somebody here. I feel like they see you as some sort of happiness or. Uh, some of you, you could have a family with this person. This could be a family member. You take it how it resonates with the Six of Cups being there too as well. Um, you're going to be weighing your pros and cons about the communication between you and this person. And I feel like it's more so, should you just go ahead and just lay it out on the line? Look, you're not worth the investment. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever this person is, it's like, okay... I keep trying to invest in you. I keep trying to help you. Something is not going to come to fruition. Something is not, you're, it's, it's going to be, it's, something's not going to be a return on an investment. And I feel like you're going to end up saying this, okay? But you're going to weigh the pros and cons. And I feel like you just want to find a way where it don't come off kind of harsh more so than anything. All right, somebody here may uh, be juggling finances as well. Somebody may contact you and tell you they may need some sort of help. But give me more on the ace, um, the eight of wands. Give me more on the eight of wands. For some of you, some of you need to make a decision if you're planning on making some sort of travel uh, arrangements or traveling somewhere. You need to make a decision. Or is this a good time for you financially? Okay, I do see that. Give me the eight of wands. Nine of Wands. You block communication with somebody. Something has been blocked. Somebody is trying to write you something. I feel like whoever this is, they keep going back and forth about possibly sending you a text message or expressing their emotions with the Page of Cups. Somebody here is, um, yeah, they're worried. <laughs> they are worried, okay? They know something needs to be revealed as well. Why is the nine, nine of swords? Somebody's afraid to express their emotions, I feel like. Oh, wow. They're making it seem like their emotions are very small. Then we got the king of cups. But they have a lot of emotions for you. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like for somebody here, these emotions do um, stem around. They, This person could see you. This king of cups could see you as the queen of pentacles. They feel as though you're very stable. Okay, you have your ish together. And, you know, but this person is drowning in their emotions. Nine of Cups. Yeah. This person looks at you as wish fulfillment. Okay. You could have separated yourself from this person because of some sort of argument here with the Knight of um, Swords. Page of Swords. Six of Wands. Somebody wants some sort of a tower to happen, but the Six of Wands came in a reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Tentacles. Someone needs to save here. Yeah, when it comes to work or something here, someone needs to really like pull back, preserve their energy. Some sort of tower is coming with a work situation. The moon, something that's not being seen. All right, somebody's fearing something of the future and they're not moving forward. Temperance. Somebody needs to temper themselves. You're being protected as well. There's a new opportunity coming in. Somebody's sitting back hoping that something does not work out for you. Yeah, five of swords, ten of swords. 
the, the tower. Somebody wants to try to set up some sort of tower here. Knight of Swords, okay? Page of Pentacles. Someone feels as though if they apologize to you and heal a situation that they can uh that they can come out of some sort of that'll move something forward. They can come out of some sort of stagnancy with you. Okay, yeah. Somebody here wants to give and take with you. I'm seeing that here as well. Three of Cups. All right. This could be someone you once considered a friend or so. All right. With the Ace of Swords being here. We have Aquarius and Cancer Energy. Page of Wands. Yeah, you have somebody. You're going to have quite a few people, I feel like, going to reach out to you. This is your energy. This is your energy. You could have ghosted some sort of um some sort of fights, arguments, or something that was going on. King, this is my um emperor card. So this king of swords could be this emperor here. Or they feel like they're a match for you. You will be guided through darkness. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Serendipity. Then I say, so whatever they're thinking that they're sitting back watching for some sort of downfall. All you need to do right now, collective, is ground yourself. Okay? Is what I'm saying. Keep yourself grounded. What's this here? Reverie and indulgence in the reverse. So there's something. Then I say, there's some sort of... Um, vice that you could be using that you're letting go of congratulations yes overcome fear so you're overcoming some sort of fear as well anything else hindrance fate has blocked this path for you okay so whatever uh if you were dealing with an emperor energy, some of you, this person could have even been married. Let's just say that. All right. Um, someone that you were dealing with. Um, <clears throat> fate and your ancestors stepped in and blocked whatever this is. Your secrets are safe. So somebody here could as well think that they are telling stuff about you and they don't even have a clue what the hell they're talking about. Okay. Because the truth is still with you. <laughs> High priestess, high priest energy. The truth is still with you. All right. We have here the wizard, but it's in the reverse. Okay. Use your skills to aid others right now. It's a time for you to allow people to fend for themselves. Okay. Um, Because I do feel like there could be a lot of bad investments. Like even with your energy, your time, you need to pull back. That could have also been that four of pentacles. Uh, to the Eight of Pentacles. When it comes to your work, you're going to have to pull back in order for you to allow yourself to be able to focus on what, the task in front of you. So we have a, um, Eternal Charisma and we have Passion and Romance Away. Okay, so somebody I told you is feeling finding you highly attractive in this time. Really that's honor and good luck, okay? Uh, we had creativity behind that. So there's definitely... Um, something coming in really good for you as far as your creative endeavors. Again, this is about you staying balanced and we have equilibrium and then we have, um, good fortune. You're going to see major things changing for you. I like it. Okay. Some of you, there's a close friend of yours that's going to act on your behalf. So I feel like somebody here may end up protecting you. I want to see what this, um, See, what did I tell you? The black cat, your luck will soon change. So if you have been feeling like things, something has been stagnant, it's changing. Just keep pushing forward. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being steadfast. Okay? Things are changing. Okay, let's see. What is hindrance? What is this path that's been blocked for the collective?
Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups. King of Pentacles in the reverse. So there could have been a King of Pentacles, okay? Um, some, well, in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone that they're not stable. They're only coming in for passion. So I feel like your intuition is definitely on point telling you that that's why this person is coming back in. This is the type of person, yeah, look, Ace of Wands, they trying to give you that big stick. I told you, <laughs> they trying to give you that big stick. Three of Cups, this is someone that's already in a situation. This will be a third party situation. It could be up to three people already involved. Okay, this person has not changed with the death in the reverse. This is someone who has not changed. And again, what did I tell you? Your intuition is telling you, all right? Your intuition is telling you. You're on point with it, all right? This person is trying to keep these other lovers that they're dealing with. They're trying to keep them a secret. This person could even possibly live with someone. Or again, this person could possibly even be married for some of you, okay? Yeah. Two of Pentacles, and then we have the Ace of Wands. This person is definitely having sex with multiple people, I feel like, as well. Okay, Ace of Swords, what I'm telling you is the truth. So, this person got too much going on, honey. <laughs> okay, too much going on. Mm -mm. Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. This person regrets stabbing you in the back in some way, shape, or form. So just know, you do have someone that's going to try to come back towards you. This person, has, there's nothing about this person that has changed. Nothing, nothing. Look, seven, they want you to invest, okay? They're going to try to come towards you, make it seem like that they are single. Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune, okay? Six of Wands. Oh, this is the type of person they want to win at all costs here. Some of you, there's uh, some sort of financial uh, situation that could be coming around. Okay, something is faded and destined for you to move forward. I'm not even going to lie. Somebody could have made someone here an indecent proposal. <laughs> Page of Swords, they're watching you. Somebody's watching you possibly on the web and they are heartbroken. They could be watching you online, okay? Yeah, with the strength, all right? They feel like you, you, you know, you're a lot stronger than what you let on, collective. Page of Pentacles, that's what I say. This person, they want to come in and make some sort of uh, offer or gesture or they want to make some sort of amends, okay? Uh, again, this person sees you as some sort of wish fulfillment and they are manifesting you with the magician. Okay. And the high priestess, Ooh, five of pentacles, the ace of cups, somebody here as well. They could be definitely trying to keep other offers from coming towards you. Wow. Look at this emperor here. Some of you, you felt, or you, you knew that this person was possibly already with someone. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Justice and the Ten of Cups. Could have been connected to a Libra. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Wands. All right, and the Eight of Cups. Somebody could be definitely walking away from some sort of burden, some connection or relationship. All right, we got the Chariot and then the Lover. Somebody here wants to move forward with a Lover. Could want to move forward possibly with a Gemini. All right, and then we have the six. Yeah, somebody is feeling guided to move and work with someone. So somebody is feeling guided to move towards you, work with someone. What is the ten of wands? What is the ten of wands? Wow, the tower, the ace of wands. Somebody is doing some sort of spell work. I, if they're new love interests, you have somebody who is possibly trying to bash you to thank you, Queen of Swords energy. Um, there's someone who's trying to bash you to new love opportunities. And I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody that you set a boundary with that you could have cut off. Okay. Um, and this person is feeling some type of way. That's the energy I'm getting with that. Let's see what the petty ancestors got to say for you. Um, collective. 
getting strung along. That's all this is going to be, a string along. Okay, you finally walked away. Now we can mop the floor with their ass. So somebody, yeah, ooh, your mama on somebody's ass. So those of you all who have an ass, that will be a no. Um, Those of you who have a mother figure who's passed on, she can right mop the floor with whoever the hell this is. Because whatever they call themselves doing to you, she ain't like it. She ain't like it. This is somebody that was a mama's boy. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. So uh, continue to keep uh, putting your water or whatever it is that you offer to your ancestors out. Okay. There's a great aunt here that could be trying to communicate with you. As well as a great uncle. This could have been a married couple. So you have a great aunt, great uncle, okay, that's trying to communicate with you. And don't be a pick me, Paul, all right? So this could be for some of my fellows. This reading could be for my fellows as well. This is not just for a woman, you know. There's no gender in tarot. It's energy, but, you know, at times we could feel, you know, the energy that we're taking it from. Where we, You know, sometimes you could just pick up that it's a fem that's like, like it's a woman or a man energy. Um, be careful what you wish for, okay? Because some of you may be wishing for this person to come back, all right? Or you want this opportunity is not, it's going to bring a major tower in your life. You don't need it, okay? Um, that hurt us more than it hurt you, but you love yourself now. So the mission was accomplished. Some of y'all had a very rough cycle. I'm going to say that. Yeah, Spurs say that would be a yes. <laughs> y'all had a very rough cycle, you will get the life of your dreams when you drop that zero, okay? Um, so there's somebody that you need to definitely let go of. False start, they are the one, but not now. So something could be off with the timing of a situation. You have free will, but how does that work for you? And then we have don't be a pick me, Paul, okay? Somebody, uh, your ancestors are saying they're proud of you. You didn't give up the cookies. So somebody could have definitely been coming off at you very uh, strong sexually, Again, for some of you, this could be a boss figure, all right? They're glad that you were able to control your impulses. You didn't give in to desire, all right? But somebody here, lust turned into love here. So where they were only lusting at you, lusting for you at one point in time, thinking that that's all they wanted. Don't be a pick me, Patricia, either. Um, thinking that that's all they wanted. No, this person now, they want more from you. This person thinks they're going to get you in some sort of shotgun wedding, okay? You have a wife or husband-in-law. Didn't I tell you, for some of you, this person could definitely be married, all right? So, your mama saying, how many signs do you need? This ain't what you want, okay? Somebody here, Becky is her other boo, and then we have grandmother. We don't always answer because it's best that you don't know, okay? So, sometimes... Your ancestors think that it's not, you know, granted, sometimes you ask them certain things and you may feel as though you're not getting the clarity that you're looking for, but they are saying that sometimes it's best that you don't know. Somebody here may be not unhappy enough to walk away. So somebody here is in a third party situation, okay? Um, or, you know, yeah, could be currently in a third party situation and you're not happy with that situation, but you don't have, you're feeling like you don't have the strength to walk away. Um, stop listening to other people and come to the source. So somebody here needs to stop listening to gossip and what other people have to say and need to have a conversation with the actual other uh, energy that's in the situation. The main energy. Okay, we have a father figure here. All right, that's saying you've been out of control. So if you have a passed on father figure and you know this father figure was very stern with you, they say be patient, that new new is coming. This, uh, this father figure is saying you've been out of control. Get it together before you disown your ass. So I just say get it together, collective. Get it together, all right? Your great-grandmother say beware of codependency. And that's why I say with that uh, devil in the reverse, there's something that you're getting rid of, all right? Raise your vibration. You won't even feel the same. So it's about where, you, where you're feeling in your life right now. Um, that could have you feel as though... That you, you know, this is this is all you can get. This is what you deserve. No, it's a bad investment. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. There's a new opportunity. There are new opportunities coming. Okay. But I just feel like whoever um you do have someone that is trying to negate 
new love opportunities from coming towards you. Okay, somebody here could be very materialistic. All right, it could be a daddy's girl, somebody here, and they're daddy's girl, and they're very materialistic, okay? This person, their purpose in your life has been served. Spirit is telling you to let it go, all right? That could be for a masculine there. There's a thief in the building. You didn't lose money. Somebody here is still toxic. It makes no sense to think you only have one twin flame or soulmate in this big-ass universe, so... They want you to stop thinking that you'll never love again, baby, or you'll never have that feeling that you had with someone else, you know, that you've had in, at some point in the past. Because I'm getting that, too, from that Six of Cups and the Four of uh, Cups in the Reverse, okay? And then they like, your ancestors say, whoever this is, they got holes in every area code, so it's not just you. So that's why they're saying no. It's a no. It's a no. This person has people everywhere, Okay, everywhere. All right, let's see what else. Uh, get you some naked truth. Sorry, Queen. I didn't feel like I was on your level. You're a boss. I'm very insecure. Okay, so again. Somebody could have definitely felt insecure when it came to you. I can't stop thinking about you. I keep seeing synchronicities and it's driving me insane. I want a second chance. Not being with you is killing me. I look at my phone every time, every day, hoping that I will see a message from you. So see. They're trying to connect with you telepathically, okay? I'm tired of the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk about this once and for all. I told you this person is weighing the pros and cons of having some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation here with you. I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was scared of commitment and didn't want to lose my freedom. So you were definitely dealing with a player here. The grass wasn't greener. I regret my actions. I'm a fool. Okay, period. <laughs> Look, it took you long enough to figure that out, son, daughter. Okay, <laughs> like the hell. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Let me get one from here, please. Y'all, me and making plans. I'm just getting to the point. It ain't no point. We have follow your bliss and you're unique. So, collective, this is spirit is telling you to do what makes you happy, baby. But people understand and they see your uniqueness. Okay, you are one in a million. Period. Okay, continue on your mission. If that's what you, you know, that's what you're doing. That's where you at. That's what you own. Continue doing what works for you. What's making you happy. Yes, blessed. Okay. Some of you may be blessed with a uh, a new addition to your family. Our love is real faith. Someone wants you to keep faith in a situation here. Okay, but some somebody here could be blessed with a, with a child. If so, congratulations. All right, we have passion. Okay, someone wants to get you pregnant, child. And then we have illusion. Mm. Okay, now this is uh, this is very specific. This is not for everybody. Okay, um, if there is a feminine that wants to come back to a man, there's a woman that wants to come back to a man. This woman may be just telling you that she's pregnant because she do want to heal a situation, but there's illusion. There's some sort of illusion around this situation here. Okay, um, this, this woman could have done something out of an act of passion and, uh, that may not necessarily be your kid. Okay. Uh, if she's really pregnant at all, you take it how it resonates. Okay. Um, we have expectation and learning. Okay. So somebody is realizing too that, yeah, what you went for at some point in time, you're not going for now. And that's, oh, they say they need you. And they want to get themselves to their best version of themselves. So, 
But this person with the death and the reverse, they're not honoring the change that needs to happen. So divine guidance or somebody is feeling like they're being divinely guided to communicate with you. Um, and soon they will be trying to come in. This person feels like some sort of intense chemistry with you. Okay. They do. Whatever this is, they feel some sort of intense chemistry with you. Collective. Anything else? Anything else for the collective? What do we have here? I don't want to give you hope and promise something I can't deliver. This is a string along, just like your ancestors just said. Okay. If I could go back in time, I would have handled us different. I don't expect you to forgive me. Okay. So whatever this person did, like their shenanigans, if they, you know, try to bring some sort of tower in your life, my feelings don't make sense to me. What did I tell you? Um, I want to touch you and get physical. Child, nobody has time for this. Would you hear me out if I would try to explain myself? I want to get physical, physical. <laughs> they want to see your body rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they want to see your body rock, child. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm in bed rock. Look, I regret my behavior. So this person know they was out here being a complete ass. Somebody made an ass of they self. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Child, do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, with that four cups in the reverse, Jim and I don't give a damn what you do at this point. Oh, I said Jim. My bad. So, I don't know. Could be a Jim. <laughs> Shit. Could be a Jim and I. Look, confirmation. Jim and I don't care. There's a Gemini who don't give a shit how, how it goes. <laughs> I said that earlier. Gemini is in their um, fucking era. <laughs> in their fucking era. Okay? They ain't tripping on nothing and no one that in their mind, they don't feel like it's worth the thought process. Okay? Ooh. All right. So you have Gemini, either you are a Gemini or you have it highly aspected somewhere, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, this is Gemini who gives zero. <laughs> like, it is, it, it is what it is. Oh boy. But you know me. I'm a Gemini. Okay, period. I'm a Gemini and I'm with the shit. Like, honey. Screw me once, shame on you. Screw me twice, shame on me. And look, you damn sure won't get a third. Tell them, queen be self-love. What I tell you? Queen be self-love. You're letting go. You're moving on. That's why you just like, honey, all this past stuff, you just needed to go on about this business. Them keep coming back with the I love yous. And um, I don't know why. When I hear, when I see that particular card, y'all remember um, the wedding planner with uh, Jennifer Lopez? And you remember that corny scene when they were trying to find a wedding song? And every time I see this card, I hear that song. I love you. I really do. <laughs> That shit was so corny and cheesy. Look, I told you, whoever it is, they're feeling like shit. Because now they're in love, baby. They're in love. You're career focused, okay? Queen B or King B. Take it how it resonates. So they're sitting over here with their memories under pressure and feeling anxiety. Okay, oh, honey, somebody going through it. Going through it. What would be the outcome? What's the outcome of this situation? Let's see. Oh, they're going to be fucked up over you. <laughs> Woo! Because you're closing this cycle, baby. You done been into the last bad apple. Period. You done been into the last bad 
apple. Look, it came right back out. So we're going to leave it there. Closing this cycle. Illumination, truth, discovery, awakening. Shoot, for a lot of you, you're thanking this person because they actually pushed you to more, further, more towards your purpose. Period. I like it collective. All right, well, we have spider. Be patient with your manifestations. They are coming. Okay, we have baby witch. Lessons lead to mastery. And then we have the emperor. You have a lot. Okay. Some of y'all got a couple of emperors coming towards you. Authority and respect. All right. Um, we have the elf. I have a friendly face and helpful hand. Okay, commitment of fidelity and trust, a ring. So some of you are getting ready to get proposed to, believe it or not. You're definitely sitting in this empress energy. Empress, emperor energy. And yeah, look, nailed coffin, something. Someone trying to come back from the past. Spirit of your ancestors telling you, leave it in the past. Let your intuition lead you like it's been doing, okay? Period and point blank. Anything else? All right, we have Dark King, Tyranny, and Abuse of Power. So for some of you, this could be a boss figure that may get upset if you deny their advances. All right, we have Black Rose. Some of you, there could be some sort of betrayal from a loved one. All right, um, and we have the Snake. Someone near is not who they portray to be. So you might want to be a little... Yeah, this could be a Black Widow. All right, this could be someone who... Uh, they may have, oh, I feel like somebody here could have possibly off their husband or somebody for some sort of benefits, uh, a hidden agenda for personal gain. See what I'm saying? And then we have, wow, the empress. So the emperor, okay, there's an emperor that's a, that could be, so if this is, a, if you're married, okay, because this is what I'm picking up. If you're married. Okay, this emperor energy could be abusing their power with this empress. True feelings are being hidden here. Victory at another's expense. Ooh. Yeah, be careful. Mind control and energy depletion. You have an energy vampire around you. Be mindful of that. Um... See clarity and guidance. Some of you may need to book a personal reading, okay? And we have werewolf, major transformation approaches, okay? So some of you, you may want to book a personal reading. The ending of a cycle is near. And then we have ancestral guidance and support. So you're being divinely led at this time. Wealth and riches will follow you. Leprechaun energy, okay? So there, there there's a lot of good things coming into you. And what did they say? Your luck is about to change soon, all right, um, there's been a witch. Uh, some of you can consider yourself a baby witch, okay? Um, but there is a more skilled and advanced witch that I feel like if this person has been sending spell work to you, okay, Spirit is saying that this is the ending of a cycle. This is getting ready to come to an end. But this person has been definitely sending some sort of spell work towards you. Okay, so that's coming to an end. Take that for who that resonates for. Please do not get paranoid and be tripping. Okay, if you don't, if that don't apply to you, it don't apply to you. I love y'all. <laughs> All right, alluring and magnetic. So people feel like right now you're in this very enchantress energy. You're very magnetic. Okay, I like it, collector. Yeah. Drifting on a memory Ain't no place I'd rather be than with you Oh shoot Loving you Let's get you a spirit animal Hedgehog, trust this is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand you or get what you are doing, it is no excuse to curl up and hide. Sure, you may need a little bit of space right now, but the world needs your gifts. You are truly more than worthy. Didn't I say that? Baby. So, hedgehog. Okay, we have raccoon letting go. This message has 
to do with those things to which you cling. Be it a thought, form, habit, creed, or situation, the time has come from the time has come to let to let go. Something is halting your progress and you are spinning your wheels. Once you embrace change, blessings will follow. Okay? That's a beautiful message, collective. Trust you trusting you letting go. Some of you have gotten really comfortable with something or someone or some vice or some, some something. But Spirit wants you to trust in letting go so your blessings can come in. Because I do feel like your blessings are coming in, but they're coming in very slow and sporadic. And I feel like you will you know, the floodgates would open if you trust in the process of letting go. Okay. What was I before this? And where's the other deck? I want to get one from the other deck. Where did you go? Okay. Are you hiding because you don't want me to use you? Okay, there you go. Yes, I talked to my babies. <laughs> All right, be true to yourself in all ways. Not everyone will get you. They they can only understand from their their level of perception. That's on them. No matter what people say, don't ever doubt your worth or your beauty you hold within. Stand tall in your power. All right, so this is about you freeing yourself, letting go, collective. Again, letting go in a lot of different ways. Um, except where you are at this moment in time, only you can begin to move forward. Be clear about your intentions. This makes it easier for us and the universe to help you. Doors will open unexpectedly. Be ready. I'm telling you. It is time to hit the reset button. Clear out old. Clear out the old so the so you can make room for what is available and what is new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Did I say that? Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome this beautiful brand new energy. You've got this. So releasing fear. Focus your mindset on what you can control instead of what you can't. The world is your oyster. Elevate your thought patterns so that you can attract abundance into your life. You are what you believe. Okay. Expansive growth. You are experiencing an infinite loop of expansion. So things are opening up. You may not just be seeing it. Look, we have equilibrium here twice. Okay, so this is a need for you to balance. Your experience is complete. Process it without judgment. Allow your mind to return to point zero back to balance. And I say, so this is past, present, and future possibility. Okay, so learning from the past, embracing the present, and being open for what's coming for you in the future. Singing stones. Raise your vibration in order to create the reality you seek. The universe will match and return it in return it to you tenfold self-awareness let go of your ego egoic attachments your evolution comes with release didn't i say there's a need for you to let go in order for you to allow what's for you to come in so you can okay yes come on collective amplify power your energy is being amplified. You hold the power of the Ascended Masters. They're not giving you this for no reason. They're not telling you all of this for no reason. You have the Midas touch. This is your divine blueprint. We are unblocking the sacred knowledge embedded in your DNA from your cosmic guardians. Your ancestors, oh baby, they want so much for you, collective. They want so much for you. They just need you to want it too. That's it. They need you to go after it. Claim, reclaim it. Claim it. It's yours. 
You are missing many opportunities. Take advantage. You have or will receive money real soon. Your predictions have and will always be true. You will be more prosperous in the near future. True blue in every respect. There's nothing fake about you. A long motor trip with a surprise at the end. Some of y'all, somebody may end up, y'all may end up riding to Vegas or some stuff. And next thing you know, your ass is hitched. Okay. Hey, Lynn. Uh, I don't know if y'all watch the country Wayne skits like uh, Latasi. I don't know where the hell they got that name from. But Latasi and Phil, how out of nowhere, they just ended up getting married. Persistent, you will be more successful. Okay, and then we have you owe someone a letter, write it at once. So you could owe someone a letter. Don't give so much advice because it causes hard feelings. So just be mindful. That's why I said the spirit is asking you to pull your energy back, okay, and let people work and figure shit out on their own collective. Period. And be leery of a guest that's coming. It means trouble, okay? So, Collective, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope these messages helped, resonated with you in some way, shape, or form, gave you some sort of clarity, okay? Uh, that was the peak at this week. That was your advice, I feel like, for this week as well. All right, and you see what it is that you possibly need to work on in order to improve yourself. Thank you so much for your love, support, and I appreciate all my new subs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, and I appreciate my loyal collective as well. My chosen collective as well. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. All right, so I will see you all in your next read. Have a great one. Peace.